Okay, so in this problem, we're told a 0.35 kilogram mass at the end of a spring oscillates 2.5 times per second with an amplitude of 0.15 meters. Determine A, the velocity when it passes the equilibrium point, B, the velocity when it is 0.1 meters from equilibrium, C, the total energy of the system, and D, the equation describing the motion of the mass, assuming that T equals zero, uh, X was a maximum. So we're going to start with uh, writing down what we're given. So we know the mass of our object connected right to our spring here and we know the amplitude of it right so the maximum amplitude and then we're also given that the spring oscillates 2.5 times per second so uh, when they say something oscillates 2.5 times per second we know that the frequency is the number of oscillations per second so what they're giving us here is the frequency so we measure frequency in hertz which is just inverse seconds so 2.5 times per second the frequency is 2.5. And uh, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get started with A. So when they say for A, they say the velocity when it passes the equilibrium point. So what they're talking about here is essentially the max velocity. So at the equilibrium point, we know the velocity, right, is going to be max. So that's what they want us to solve for, for A. Uh, and the way you can do it is using this formula. So V max is the amplitude multiplied by the square root of K over M. The trick to this is uh, you should know that angular frequency is equal to the square root of k over m. Therefore, uh, right, the max velocity or the velocity at equilibrium is a times w. So the amplitude multiplied by the angular frequency. Uh, and then we know w equals 2 pi f. So w equals 2 pi f, so we can just plug that in. So essentially your v max is a times 2 pi f and we're given both of these values so we can just plug in and solve 0.15 multiplied by 2 pi times the frequency which is 2.5 let's go ahead and see what that is so 0.5 times or 0.15 times 2 times pi multiplied by 2.5 so you'll get a value of 2.356 I'll just round to 2.36. The units of this are meters per second since we're dealing with velocity. So your answer for A, uh, the velocity is going to be equal to 2.36. So the velocity when it passes equilibrium or its max velocity, uh, 2.36 meters per second. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and move on to B. So for B, they want us to find the velocity when it is 0.1 meters from equilibrium. So for this one, we're going to use another formula, which is V equals V max multiplied by the square root of 1 minus X squared over A squared. So V max is your max velocity, which we just found in the last problem. Uh, and then we have 1 minus the distance stretched, right? So whatever they tell us, uh, right, how far we are from equilibrium and then divided by the amplitude, which we know. So we know all the values here, so it's just a matter of plugging it in. So 2.356 multiplied by the square root of 1 minus, so our distance is 0.1 meters, uh, and then we're dividing by our amplitude, which was uh, 0.15. So let's go ahead and see what this is. So 0.1 squared divided by 0.15 squared. We have one minus that, second so square root that, then multiply by 2.356. So when you go ahead and do this, you will get a value of V equals 1.756. So you can just round to 1.76. So yeah, your velocity is gonna be 1.76 meters per second. Keep in mind though that this can be in either direction, right? So it could be from equilibrium this way or this way so you want to label it positive or negative so so v equals plus or minus 1.76 meters per second right because if it's oscillating you can imagine like a wave uh it can either be going up or down right from it so that's why we got to do the plus or minus there uh but yeah so that's your answer to b let's go ahead and do c now so c is the total energy of the system so for this one uh you need to know the total energy of the system is equal to, we'll call it ET, one half MV max squared, right? So the total energy is based off this. So you know that when this thing, 
when a, like a spring is oscillating, it goes from potential to kinetic energy. So if we can figure out the maximum uh, kinetic energy here, right? We can figure out uh, the total energy of the system. So whatever the max kinetic energy is, it's equal to the total energy of the system. So we have one half uh, multiplied by our mass, which they give us, right? So the mass is, let's zoom in here, five or 0.35. Let me go back down. 0.35 multiplied by the max velocity, which we found in the first part, which was 2.356. 2 Let me check that again. Yeah, okay. And then this is squared. So let's go ahead and see what it is. 0.5 times 0.35 times 2.356 uh, squared. So when you do this, you're gonna get a small value. So 0.97, the units of this are joules, right? Because we're dealing with energy here. So yeah, the trick to this is just knowing the total energy is equal to the maximum kinetic energy. Uh, and yeah, so 0.97 joules, that's your answer to C. Let's move on to D now. So for D, what they want us to find is the equation describing the motion of the mass, assuming that t equals zero, or at t equals zero, x was a maximum. So uh, for this, you need to know the equation, right, describing motion, right, the position of an object, something traveling in simple harmonic motion, uh, it's equal to x equals a cosine of omega t. So an object traveling in simple harmonic motion, its position can be described using this formula here, uh, and yeah, so what we want to find is this formula. So x equals, we know what a is, right? It's just 0.15. They give us that value, which is the amplitude multiplied by omega, the angular frequency. Uh, we know that's going to be equal to uh, 2 pi f, right? So we can put that in there. 2 pi times the frequency, uh, which I believe they give us is 2.5 hertz. So we have 2.5 times uh, t. So uh, yeah, let me see what this is. So 2 times pi times 2.5, 15. Actually, a probably better way to write it is just to say 5 pi, just to make it more clean. Uh, but yeah, so the position can be uh, expressed using this formula, right? The amplitude cosine of omega t. And uh, yeah, so this is your answer to D, right? That's what they wanted. Yeah, the equation describing the motion or the position. Uh, and yeah, so these are going to be your answers for this problem. Just a quick rundown. Uh, you need to know the formula for the max velocity, right, which occurs uh, at the equilibrium, right? When or The velocity when it passes equilibrium is the same as the max. So just plug that in. Solve for B. Another again, or another formula you need to know to find the uh, velocity at some position, right? Uh, so you just plug in there. Uh, and then this one, you need to know the total kinetic energy is equal to uh, the total energy of the system. So that's where you get that. And then this one is just the basic formula for describing the position or motion of something, right? An object traveling in simple harmonic uh, motion. So just plug in the values there. Uh, but yeah, so this problem was mainly just plugging stuff into formulas and knowing them. Uh, and yeah, so these are gonna be your answers and hopefully you found uh, this video useful.